All right. How we doing, tribe? This is Sean Tudor here, founder of Snow White Technologies and inventor of the Speed Strap. So today, I'm here to show you guys how to assemble, attach, and use the Speed Strap. So this is an adjunct kit, so it can be added on to any traditional four strap binding that's been out there. Um, these are Union Atlas, and they are a size large for reference, and the boots I'll be demoing them with are a size 12. Um, this can also be used on small and medium bindings um, with some slight adjustments. So today um, I'm going to show you show you how to attach it. So the first thing that I will do is I will show you all of the parts. So this is the package that the speed strap comes in. Okay. Um, so to open it, uh, we just want to pinch it right here like this. Slide until it opens up and you just run your finger through there. So, uh, very important, the instructions for use. Um, pay attention to these and it'll make your life a lot easier because you'll get it right the first time. Um, we have a couple of stickers that, that this comes with here. And then to the meat and potatoes. So, we have the XL ladder strap. We have the magna catch. We have the traditional end cap. We have the magnetic end cap. So it's labeled and it also has a magnet inside of it. And then we have the rubber gaskets. So the rubber gaskets, there are some brands that have different type screws and uh, non-traditional um, uh, attachments there. So these um, will help there uh, so that they can fit nice and snug um, to your specific binding. So now we will assemble. So the first thing we're gonna do, um, actually I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna show you the tools you need. So um, we are all gonna need a screwdriver for this. Um, and uh, for the large, you will only need a screwdriver. If you have a medium or a small, um, you will need a wire cutter. Um, the wire cutter is so that we can shorten the strap um, to fit your specific binding. So if you have a small or a medium binding, um, we, need, we need some wire cutters here, okay? So, first things first, remove the, the ladder strap from the ankle. Now, we will attach the XL ladder strap. Get it so it's hand tight. Okay. Now we will thread it through, right? Beautiful, right? <clears throat> now we will attach the magnetic end cap. The magnets do work. So, a couple things about the end caps. Um, so we always want to have the screw side down, right? You never want to be able to see, see these screws. The screws always need to be facing down. The reason is because the bottom uh, is flat. So just like the flatness of this ladder strap, right? We have flatness on the bottom here. Um, on the top, there are teeth. So the teeth on here. So the teeth go in the teeth and the flat goes on the flat, right? So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the magnet inside the end cap, right? Uh, there's a little recess um, at the tip here that it falls in, so you just want to make sure that, that it sits in very nicely. And then we're ready to attach it. So to attach it, you just slide the end cap right over the strap, right? Permanently connects them, right? So we never have to connect them again, right? It's pretty beautiful. Next, we're going to do the toe end cap. So what we will do here is we will make sure that we, again, thread the ratchet through the strap. Once it's threaded, 
Then we make sure that the screws side is down and we attach it. Right? It's attached right now, can open. Okay. So next we will attach the actually we're gonna go with the boot. So the boot again is a size 12. So we're gonna drop the boot in here and see how it fits. So as you can see, the toe strap is a little too short for the boot right now, right? So it's not able to get in there. So what we will do is we will take the toolless screw here, undo it, move it all the way out to the end, and then we will attach it right back on into the back end. And you wanna make sure that your, your, your ratchet is open all the way. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to drop the boots inside the binding. Look at that, it fits just right. It's nice and e easy in, easy out. Easy in, easy out, right? So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to mount the magna catch. Okay, so to, to mount the magna catch, first we're gonna check the polarity. So there's a magnet inside this end cap. So what we wanna do is bring that over and we can see that it goes right on, right? So. If it's wrong polarity, it's gonna to try to twist on you, right? So it's gonna twist around. So once you find the right polarity, then we just bring this down and we attach it right on the ratchet strap side of the ankle. Okay, so what that does is that gives us access to that magnet. Nice and easy, right? So <clears throat> at this point, we're gonna open this up all the way. We wanna make sure that it's nice and open. Um, so the other thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is adjust the ankle. So for the 12, I like to have it all the way out, um, but for, for different sizes, um, you can adjust it to exactly your specific boot brand and your specific size, okay? So what we wanna have now is we want the we want the ankle strap to lay in front of the toe strap. Okay, the reason being so that we always have access to the footbed. Okay, so if you have a, a small or a medium sized binding, then we can we can adjust the strap. So what we do, um, and this all depends on the make and model and brand of your boot and your binding. So you want to make sure to test this with the boot inside the binding. Um, but for uh, medium bindings, uh, we count to the 10th tooth and then we can cut, okay? For, uh, for small, um, we go around the 16th, 17th, or 18th tooth, depending on the make and model, okay? So for the, for the medium, 10th ten, tooth, and for the small, around the 17th, 18th tooth, okay? So for large bindings, um, stock works, it just it works perfectly. So we're gonna drop our foot in the foot bed, right? And then we're going to use the thumb to pinky technique. So you wanna put your thumb on the ratchet, and you wanna put your pinky way outside on the white strap. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna bring the thumb to your pinky, okay? So it'll help get access to that magnet catch and make it nice and easy. So <clears throat> that is how you assemble and use your speed strap. Now you're ready to get out of the mountain and shred.